Today, I'm making my collaboration soap with my dear friend, Jen, from Gentle Soaps. And I'm going to put a link to her channel here in the card in the upper right and also in the description of this video. She's a phenomenal soap maker and she and I have both made a soap today. Mine, what I'm doing now, this is my bay. Uh, bayberry oil that has been colored with alkanet. I've, this is a, about a three week infusion which makes it this really cool purpley color but it will turn more of a blue actually once it's cured in the soap. But I just love it. I really do. It smells great and it's such a fun color. The, over to the left I have my melted butters. And I just loved the color this made as I was pouring it in. Really, <laughs> it just looks so pretty to me. And I do have videos of how I do my infusions with bay, chamomile, various different herbs. And I will try to link to that video as well. Now, I failed in one regard, and that is the PVC mold. And that is because I had made a previous soap for this collaboration and messed up the formulation. It got stuck in my custom mold, and I had a disaster. So this was my quick save. <laughs> so what I've done is I've taken my plastic cutting boards, as you've seen me do in other videos, unless you're new here, and formed it in a heart shape and have it in my PVC, in a clear PVC mold. It's not actually PVC, it's acrylic, um, but I have it in that mold uh, just to hold the shape while I pour this. What I just added in there is just a little bit of Razul clay. I just like Razul clay with bay. The two seem to go together very well and add the most fantastic qualities to your soap. And I just added in my, or I'm adding in, I should say, my essential oils there. And this is fantastic. It is going to be eucalyptus and rosemary. You may hear a lot of people use rosemary and mint together. And I just thought, why not eucalyptus and rosemary? And I love it. It's one of the first times I've mixed these two. Oh, they've, I've used them together with other uh, oils in some blends, but never just these two together. And I think it's just fantastic. And I'm only wanting to bring this to emulsification or a very light trace. I want to keep it pourable. Now, I've made a lot more soap than I need here, and for good reason. With this, I'm also going to be making some soap dough on the side. So you'll see me pour my heart here, but then the rest of this is just going to go into various other molds so that tomorrow I can package it up for soap dough for some other projects that I have planned. To me, this is the fun part, the exciting part. I love pouring soap into a mold where I can see it, like this, where you can see it rise up the column. I want to get some of those custom craft molds like I've seen on Etsy. Those are the acrylic uh, loaf molds and slab molds. I'd love to have some of those just to experiment with and play with. but. For now, it's just a lot of fun working with what I have. I do enjoy these so much. But um, yeah, I'm like a little kid in some ways. I just love watching this rise up in the mold. And you can see already the color is starting to shift into more of a lavender color, as you can see there on the funnel. And as it does cure, it becomes more of a dark, sort of a navy blue. But I just love it. I really do. And this mold, like I said again, is just a plastic cutting board. 
that is folded into a heart. You simply bend over the ends into the center and staple it and you have a heart. So for the next part here, I'm taking my heart and putting it into my loaf mold. And then I'm going to pour my uh, bay leaf and uh, oils, sorry, I got a little tongue-tied there, uh, into this and encompass the entire heart, or at least that's my hope. Sorry about my hair. <laughs> It looks like a roll of cotton, doesn't it? So I just love the color the bay leaves give. These have been infused for several weeks. Now, I used some of my own bay leaves, but this is also bay leaves that I got from Jen that she sent me from Canada. So it's an international loaf of soap. <laughs> I love that. And Jen, I do want you to know that I'm rooting some of that that you sent me so I can grow them alongside my own bay. How exciting is that? And that's really it for the video because I cut it too soon, the video too soon. But I actually added a little more on top and did a little design with my spatula, that's all. And recently, for a big wholesale account, uh, or a big batch soap that I made for a wholesale account, I had bought uh, a lot of poppy seeds, <laughs> more than I needed. And I didn't know what I was going to do with all these poppy seeds. You can always only make so much lemon and poppy seed soap, right? So I just decided to add a little something extra to this with some poppy seeds. And I guess this wasn't really necessary, but this soap isn't real showy, right? It's just the blue heart inside of green soap. And so I just felt the need to do a little more on top. It's not much, but it's something. And uh, the cut went very well. Uh, the soap, the, I got a little tongue tied again. <laughs> the soap cured up just fine and the cut was uneventful. And I was very happy with the result. And, uh, you know, I like the blue with the green. I think that that is just a charming, kind of a classic look. It's not the red heart. I didn't want to do a red heart. And now I'll tell you why it's a blue heart. Or I'll... 10 years ago, today, the love of my life died in my home. And it was a horrendous event, one that has scarred me for life. And I'm not going to say I'm in, still in mourning or anything like that, but it was a very difficult time. And um, this day is always a reminder. Uh, Jan February 1st is always just a reminder of that time. Anyway, so I always get a little blue. So why not a blue heart, right? And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this, everyone. Do go check out our dear friend, Jen Spice. Her channel is just a joy to behold. And she also loves making things with natural ingredients, but she doesn't limit herself to that. She makes beautiful soaps, she makes adventurous soaps, and you'll just love her. So if you haven't checked her out, please go do that. Have a terrific day, everyone, and thank you so very much. And I look forward to seeing you back soon. Goodbye.